I can change the color of the font. Again, same color option. I can have a background just for the text box. So if I did that, it would look like this. Um, I can have none. I can have a shadow to it or no shadow. I can change the layout of the text within the box. And then I can move the text box to the front or to the back, uh, depending on how I want to layer it on the page. So then I can click on the image and click the I button again, and now it's changed one more time. I can um, hyperlink to a web address or another page from this image. I um, can write text in so that if somebody um, was who is not able to see wanted to hear a description of the image, I could type that in, and then again I can change the layout or delete it. So then we're going to go to the next page. On the next page I have my math about me. Um, this is just a warm-up activity that I'm going to have the students do. And then we're going to go on to creating the table of contents. Now the table of contents has each topic that we're going to be working on in third grade. And then you'll notice that it is blue and underlined. That means that it's linked. So each of these um, texts are linked to a certain page in my journal. So if I go up to the top and click pages, you can see that throughout my journal I have topic headers. So for the example, this is multiplication. And so if I go back to my table of contents, multiplication was on page seven. If I was to click multiplication in my ebook, it would take me directly to page seven to the topic that I want. Within my editing in Book Creator, in order to do that, I'm going to have to go to the pages option and then scroll to find my page. So if I'm at the end of my journal, I can scroll down and I can click on another page and it will take me directly to that page. So the setup of my journal, I took the Common Core standards and I placed them into the topics that we teach throughout our school year and I made one page for every standard. Um, I did this so that I could have the students create a summative project of their choosing and um, import it into Book Creator. So there's a lot of different ways that they can add to the page. If we go up to the plus sign, they can add shapes or symbols if they would like. They can also add photos from their camera roll. So my students use Shadow Puppet, iMovie, um, lots of different apps that can be imported from our camera roll. Anything that saves data to the camera roll, it can be put into the book creator, into their book. Um, they can go to, straight to the camera and do a photo or a video. They can add a drawing directly on the page. So if they take a picture of something and add it, they can draw over it. They can choose their color that they want. They can choose their pen size and then they have an eraser if they need to. Um, they can also add text. They can link that text to the web or they can link it to another page within their journal. Um, and then they can also add sound, which is great for students who want to explain their learning. Um, in reading, we do fluency this way. We take a picture of our passage and then students record their voice reading. Um, they've created stories in writing and then read their stories out loud by adding sound. Um, and then down at the bottom here, they can also add from their iTunes library. My students personally don't have iTunes libraries in the classroom, though older students might. Um, so then once you're finished with your book, you're going to want to share it. So up here in the corner is the share button. And depending on what options you have on your iPad, anything that it can share to will show up here. You can save it to your Dropbox. You can email it to yourself. Um, we love posting it to Seesaw, although it doesn't support e EPUB books. Um, it saves as a movie. So I'm going to show you how 
we can save it in another way. If we go back to our original page, at the bottom there's another share button, and you can share it as an EPUB. You can share it as a PDF if you want to print it out. That is one of the easiest ways to do it. Um, or you can um, export it as a video, and that's how it's going to show up in Seesaw. So again, here are the different options. You can save the video to your um, your iPad, or you can airdrop it to another iPad if you would like to. Hopefully that helps you out, and if you have any questions, please leave a comment below.